spotted. What's up guys, it's DDJ here and we're back with another video on the channel and today what you are watching is Oh, uh, <laughs> I was about to say something extremely random but I just not remember what I was making this video on uh, I don't know why I forgot what I was going to make this video on but I remember now so that's good That is very good, very 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 very, very good But today's video is on the d epic camo and if you don't know what this camo is, it is a camo in the reserve cases or crates because you know you can't get crates. You know, if you have six reserve cases, you could trade them in for one dupe protected crate. And I only recommend using the dupe protected crates as if you're getting a lot of duplicates. And if you're getting a lot of those duplicates, that means you have a lot of the content in the game. So it's best you start opening those dupe protected crates to see if you get some new items like a new weapon or maybe there's a new skin that you wanted or a blackout character or something like that you want and you can get it out of that or you can just keep uh, opening the cases until you uh, get your third duplicate which is going to re-roll into something you don't have and you know you keep getting those duplicates and re-rolling them until you get something new that you want uh, either method is effective. Uh, I don't know. I've seen people not use the dupe protected crates and just use the dupl the duplicate reroll to get what they want, and it's worked out for them. But a lot of people do recommend using the dupe protected crates. So if you have a lot of the content in the game, I do recommend using the dupe protected crates if you have enough cases for them. And make sure you're doing your contracts every single day if you have the time to do them or if you're just playing make sure you just have monks you never know what challenges you can complete while you're playing or if you're even going for them and getting them done yeah I, it's very recommended if you want a lot of cases in the game as well but apart from that yes this is a camel that you can only get in the reserve cases uh sadly you know with this contraband stream they didn't really have much in it uh, a lot of it's just like stickers and calling cards and I'm pretty sure a lot of the player base who still plays Black Ops 4 really doesn't care for calling cards or stickers nor uses them. So I would go over the, the contraband stream and cover that but there's like there's so much useless stuff in there that there's really no point of even talking about it in a video or anything. So I just wanted to make this video on this camel instead because I randomly got it out of a uh, reserve crate and it was new for this uh, operation so, and it looked pretty cool because you know it's like green and it moves well it, it, it moves it's green and it has like these neon yellow like lines on it that are zigzags I thought it looked pretty cool in my opinion uh, pretty cool camo for an epic i know there's a lot of other epic camos that we've gotten in reserve crates that I don't really compare to this one right here so this was a step up from uh all the camos i've used again this game but it, this one is pretty fascinating it's only only, only having the core die <laughs> but uh, it is what it is i guess hopefully i get it for like a weapon that i actually use a lot because this camo actually doesn't look bad it actually looks pretty good especially for just an epic camo because knowing uh, with all the other camels in this game that are epic, they're uh, not the greatest when it comes to the, the this one and like the afterlife camel and all that kind of stuff. But then again, that's more reactive camel. We're just talking about camels in general, so it's uh, it's uh, it's a hit or miss with this, to be honest. <laughs> it really is a hit or miss. But for the class setup I was using in this video, I was using well, obviously the cordite, obviously. Um, I had grip, I had long barrel. And I had rapid fire on for this. I really don't have much of a Cordite class setup. I'm not gonna lie, cause I don't really like use the Cordite as much. Uh, I know the Cordite was supposed to be the PDW 57 from Black Ops 2, but to me, it doesn't feel the same at all 
especially with his recoil pattern it definitely feels a lot different and i really don't really feel much of a resemblance between that and the pdw 57 but i mean they look similar so i i assume i assume they're both the same weapon i guess man i don't, I don't really know i don't really know about that man that's, that's beyond me it really is beyond me man but apart from that uh the perks i had on i had scavenger dexterity and i had dead silence yeah dead silence i had to remember for a second because sometimes i run death silence or i use tracker it all just depends on what type of day it is for me it's like I feel like I'm just being like heard from behind and people are just turning on me and stuff I'm like yeah let me just put on that sounds and uh, do that or if I just feel like I just want to track people now I just use tracker I don't know they're both use useful perks but uh, that sounds probably be the best option instead for you to use and it is what it is man it is what it is but apart from that usually I don't run like three perks three perks on my classes I usually only use like two and that's scavenger and dexterity because I usually like to run four attachments or I have like an operator mod with two attachments and like a sight but uh, I don't really use sights in this game unless it's like for a swordfish I have a red dot on it but sometimes I won't use the red dot on it I'll just use the regular sight just like I have that third perk I don't know I've always been like more of an iron sights type of person I've always like enjoyed using iron sights I'm not too much of a fan on like putting a sight on a gun because uh, some of these guns for me in my opinion really don't need a sight like the km57 i see people who put like red dots or like an elo on it and i just don't really see the point of like putting a red dot or elo on it it's just, like it's still really good man iron sights they're not they're not bad or anything man iron sights are definitely under under it oh my goodness i almost choked on the words i was trying to say they're underrated in a way i guess you could say but uh yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much it for the commentary, man. Uh, I'm going to try and see what else I can cover on this game. Because to be honest, like I said before, um, a lot of the content that they put on this game is all monetized and stuff. So you kind of have to like get it out of reserve crates or something. Or get lucky. Or buy it. And I'm trying not to buy anything on this game. So it's kind of hard to make content. Especially when these new operations come out. But I'm trying my best to, you know, upload every single day. We've been doing this since, like, May the, May 27th. I've been uploading every single day, which is pretty insane to me. I, I've never uploaded every single day this for this long. And it's pretty, it's pretty wild, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's very, 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 very wild. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, that's about it for the videos, man. I'm really, I'm sorry. My commenting skills are just really, really bad, man. Just... Just, just just throw a brick at me man i know, I know that's probably what y'all want to do man or you probably have a pitchfork ready to come hit me with it or something like that man i don't, I don't know man i don't know just like these commentaries are just uh terrible they are very terrible but you gotta bear with me guys you gotta bear with me at least for another three months because commentaries on this game are uh, i don't know man just, i don't know uh, maybe I should just leave like, uh...